Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to discuss how to push the Docker image to a Docker Hub. In the previous video, we have discussed about how to Dockerize the simple Java program. And in this video, we are going to push that image to the Docker Hub. So Docker Hub is similar to GitHub repository. So once you, you have pushed the image to the Docker Hub, anyone, of, anyone from the world, they can pull that image and they can run it on the Docker container. So that is why we will use Docker Hub. So in order to use, in order to push the Docker image to the Docker Hub, you need to create an account inside the Docker Hub. I have already created the account. And in order to create a new repository or in order to create a new image, to push new image inside this Docker Hub, you just need to create the repository and you need to provide the repository name or the image name. I'm going to call this Docker minus hello world and by default it will be public your image will be public if you want to make it private you can make it but there are only one image you can make it as a private if you want to make multiple images as a private then you need to pay something to this you need to upgrade your account you have to pay uh, some amount to this docker hub i'm going to make it public click on this create Now we have created this repository, which is Bushan 1992 slash Docker minus hello world. This is Bushan 1992, which is the username and this is the image name. And in order to push to this repository, the image, you need to use this command. This is one way uh, you need to use this command to push it to this repository. But another way I will show you, you don't have to create a repository inside this Docker hub directly. You can push it. So let's go to this settings and click on this delete repository and copy this. And delete this repository. I will show you the easiest way. So now we do not have, we don't need to create any repository here. Just go to the Visual Studio code. Okay. Now we need to build this Java program because in the previous video, we have deleted the image. And now let's build this docker build minus t. We need to provide the tag name and I'm going to append in order to, we need to provide the tag name. What I'll do is I'm going to directly provide the, my docker hub username, which is bushan1992 slash. I will provide the tag name, which is docker example. So instead of creating it, a repository inside the docker hub and then pushing it you can directly uh, build it with the same name so now we have this tag name and we need to build it you don't have to specify the tag name because by default it will take it as a latest so i will just build it in the current directory let's add the dot and hit enter this is going to build the docker image and now if you see docker images we have the docker image next from the cli we need to log into the docker hub so for that you need to use the command docker login hit enter i have already logged in so that is why it is not going to authenticate me again it will directly show login succeeded but if you are logging it for the very first time from the cli it will prompt you a dialog box you need to follow the instruction to authenticate yourself so I have already logged in. Now you need to, we need to push this to the Docker hub. So Docker push and you need to provide the tag name, which is Bushan 1992 slash Docker minus example and hit enter. And this will start pushing it to the Docker hub. This will take a few minutes to push the Docker image to the Docker hub, depending upon your internet speed. You can see now it has been pushed to the Docker hub. We can verify that. Let's go to the Docker hub and just reload this. Go to this repository section and reload this. And you can see we have the Docker example. Click on this. And if anyone, we can see the tag latest. If anyone wants to pull this, you just they have just need to 
use the docker push and they have to use this repository name or the image name colon the tag name so eventually the tags if you go to the tag section you will see a single tag which is the latest just they have to copy this and they have to run this so it will they will automatically pull this from this docker hub that's all about this video in this video we have learned how to push the docker image to the docker hub in the next video we will dockerize the spring boot application i will see you in the next video